Mr President, morning. Well, you couldn't really invent what's going on here this morning, could you? The Belgian presidency takes over its six-month term and everybody pretends that it's business as usual. Well, I was somewhat vilified a few months ago for pointing out that Belgium wasn't really a proper nation. Uh, but I think the electors of Belgium have rather proved the point. A separatist party is now the biggest party in Belgium and we have before us a caretaker Prime Minister, but we all turn a blind eye and pretend that it's business as usual. It simply isn't. You have no legitimacy here, Monsieur Le Term. And what an extraordinary irony that a country that a country that's on the verge of breaking into two is telling 26 other member states for the next six months what they should be doing. But perhaps worse than that, of course, is your own sheer hypocrisy in this matter. Standing up this morning, being the good Belgium, let's just remember that you yourself, as Belgian Prime Minister, didn't even know your own national anthem. You famously said, back in 2006, that it was only beer and football that held the country together. But now, I suppose, with the trappings of power, that's all been forgotten. But really, everybody in this chamber is in denial, because Belgium is a huge embarrassment to you. It is a prototype, it is a model for the entire European Union and it's on the verge of breaking up. Yet none of you can admit it. What is going on today inside this chamber, frankly, is beyond satire. I would not have thought, I would not have thought that there should be a Belgian presidency of the Union. And wouldn't it be fun if at the end of the six month presidency, at the end of a six-month presidency, there still wasn't a government in Belgium. I hope you're all very proud. Proszę Państwa, jako kolejny głos zabierze...